Hi everyone, it's Gail again. I'm going to do this look today, which is my take on a St. Patrick's Day look. So we've got green and gold and orange on the eyes, but it's very, very wearable and a kind of peachy lip going on. So if you want to see how I've done this, then please keep watching. Thank you. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Gail again. I thought I would do a wee St. Patrick's look. St. Patrick's Day look. Um, it's for a wee change and for me to do something. I think St. Patrick's Day this year is the 17th of March. So we don't really celebrate it here. Um, I know in America it's a huge thing, but um, I don't know why, but we just don't really celebrate it. I myself are from the Irish stock. Um, my maiden name is Connor, so obviously I've not like back my family history, but obviously at some point we came over from Ireland, I know that. Um, so I just thought, why not do a wee green and gold St. Patrick's Day look? I'm going to be using the uh, Makeup Revolution Awesome Eyeshadow Collection, because there's quite a few... greens in here that I can use. Uh, to start I'm going to use my Bourjois 24 hour colour edition and I don't even know if it has a name, the colour. No, nope. it's nope. weird but anyway it's a green cream to powder kind of eyeshadow. So, <clears throat> got to my Real Techniques domed shadow brush and go into that and just put that on my lid. So just literally from inner corner to outer corner. Blend it up a wee bit. Like so. I better get a wee mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okie dokie. Right, I need a wee flat brush. Let's use the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and what colour will we going to use? I think we'll go into this kind of light green here. Ow. I've still got my jammies on and I've just put a headband on because I'm filming this after my Project 10 update. Right, so we'll put a lime greeny colour on the inner corner. If it's a matte colour. So I'm just tapping it in. I really like that colour. It's nice. I'm going to take it in a wee bit further. Sorry. Um. Then let's see if we've got any more matte greens. I don't think there is. I think I've got to go for this one. On the outer bit. This is a wee cosmopolitan eyeshadow brush, just a wee flat one. So again, I'm just dabbing it on. I've not done my foundation or anything yet. Because 
there's any fallout, which there is. I don't have any, I don't know if I possess an item of clothing that is green. Right, we've got that on, so we'll just leave that. Oh, something just fell. I like that just now. And then I think I'll go into mm, how gold is that? I've got to get into this lighter gold here. And I'm just going to take that in my middle finger. Just dab it in the middle. So I'm just going to kind of blend these two colours together in my finger. And then blend that with a clean finger, the gold into the matte green. Right, now on to crease work. I'm going to take my 228 Zoeva crease brush and go into this one here. So just a mid brown kind of shade. I'll just stick my nail right in an eyeshadow. And we'll just start putting that in our crease. I should be singing a wee Irish trick or something, you know? Just about turn the brush on its side and and I'm blend up. And the same on the other side. Put it on that side. I've got to go back with my Real Techniques flat brush and go back into that matte green that we used first. Just to put that back in so we can see it. And then, then, oh, I was thinking what am I going to get into? I'm just going to get into the one of the matte blacks in this palette. There's about one, two, there's three matte blacks. So. And then the very outer red, dab a wee bit of that. Back to our two to eight. I'll probably make a mess of this because as I said in my last video I've not had makeup on for I don't, I don't actually know how long. 
Right, then I'm going to go into, it's just a cream colour, matte cream in this palette. And I'm going to dab it. Don't worry about the mess. I'll clean that up. Tear two to eight. Okay, okay. I'm going to just take a wee cotton pad and a bit of my cellar water from the one, and we'll just do a wee clean up, and I'm lifting that up at the edge. Like so. We can sort all that out in a wee while. I suppose enough foundation and things. Just a wee dry tissue it and dry that before we start putting anything on our skin. Right, on to foundation. I'm going to use my number 7 mousse foundation in the colour Pool Beige because it's the only foundation I have that matches me the now because I'm so pale. And I'm using this wee brush that I got on eBay. So I'm just going to dip it in. In fact, I think, I think the last time I used this I put oil in it. This should be a first impressions with this wee brush because I've not used it. I gave it to my daughter to try and she didn't like it. Mm -hmm. It feels weird. I'm just spreading it about. My forehead. I've not actually planned what I'm doing with this video, by the way. I've just decided to film. Okay, that'll do for foundation. We'll go into concealer and I might as well use some stuff out of my project in. So I'll use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewinds thing. And I think I'll use a wee different brush for that. This is one of my wee ones I bought from Amazon, I think. over my eyebrows before I fill them in. I never look peely mally and ghosty, lovely. To set it all, I'll use my Bourjois Java powder. 
so I'll leave that in the lid and I've got this big massive fluffy brush that I got from eBay after seeing Chalky Kaz's video on it I'm just getting rid of some of that powder it smells like my old grannies when she used to use um, talcum powder and Manny, she had one of the ones in the, a tub with a puff that you well, not to put in your face, but to put in your body You, you must lose, I don't know how much every time you touch that. Um, next I'm going to go into my NYC bronzer. Oh, sorry, moved the camera there. And use my So Eco powder brush. Put some colour back in my face. I think I'm going to use Morag gave me this blusher, Malamaska blusher. Oh, the colours wore off. But it's a kind of orangey colour, and I think I'm going to take my 228 crease brush and go into this and just we'll have a wee bit of orange as well for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm just really warming up the I'm barely touching my skin I want it to be a, a wearable look rather than a daft look um, I need to have a Silo Eco blusher brush that. and that's there so I'll just go into this Put it on my brush, tap it off, tap some off my hand just in case, and we'll use that in my face. It's a matte blusher. I don't know if I had something in my brush before this because it looks kind of luminous now, but. For my bottom lashes, I'm going to use some of my brown Maybelline Master Drama Eyeliner on top and bottom waterline. And then I've got a pencil brush from the Amazon set. I better get a mirror. See what I'm doing. So anything that's kind of an underneath with the pencil, I'm just kind of blending. Mm, and what can we do that's unusual for the bottom? To see if I can find something. <coughs> I think I'll just use some of this on my pencil brush <clears throat> and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. 
here. We'll see how that is. Eyebrows. I'll use my Freedom Eyebrow Kit in Ebony. My eyebrows are a state now. I don't know why, because I've not been like massively plucking them or anything. Just illness makes your brows look shocking. Which is why I'm excited about getting them tattooed. Oh, this is my wee brush from Doll 10 that I'm using. Looks much better with an eyebrow, doesn't it? I'm just dipping between the two colours and then tap them off the excess. I will try and edit this on iMovie, but I'm not promising anything. It might just need to go up the way it is. It's better. Much better. I'm going to put a wee bit of my baby lips up on one now. Before I put anything in my lips. Curl lashes time. And these lashes are growing. I need to, when they're in my thing, I need to move them because they're literally growing that way. So I hope everyone's been keeping well. And those of you that are on a no buy, I hope you're doing well as well. I don't think, well, apart from the gift card that I had at um, Christmas, I've literally no bought anything because I'd stocked up on my cotton pads and things. That's a lie. That's a total lie, Gail. I bought that new skincare. Totally forgot about that. But makeup wise, nothing. Not a thing. Not because I'm not wearing it, but. Right, this is my. Mm, it's not Mally Gale, it's my Laura Geller Style Lash Mascara. I love green eyeshadow. And to me, this is such a wearable look. Inside. This eye look terrible because the lashes get in the way. I just cannot get them out of the way at all. I can feel them resisting me, even as I'm trying to pull them over. If you're looking for a natural bristled thin brush mascara, I would thoroughly recommend this. You can get it in QVC in the UK. So it's a Laura Geller style lash. And from the start I could use it because I hate um, uh, really wet mascara. It just does nothing for me. But from the start I could use that. Sorry, I'm just going to my drawer to look for some 
I don't actually know what I'm looking for. But what kind of lip glow to go for? I've got this, um, this is one of the Makeup Revolution, it's an eyeliner, but you can use it as a lip liner as well, so we'll try that. See? Does it look very orange and caramel, does it? I just saw my last of it. And I'm not, um, Taking my headband off because I just blasted my hair, so I don't. I don't think it'll be looking very good when I take it off. I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but in real life, that's a nice muted kind of orangey colour. To see if I've got any oranges in my. Thing. I thought I did a bosh I'll put a wee bit of this on. This is a bourgeois peach on the beach. I don't um think I've used a match lipstick yet in my thirty days, thirty one days of lips. I just don't like the feeling of them, I hate them, the, ugh, the dryness and I think because of my age I, I'm blah blah okay, what are you trying to say? <laughs> um, <clears throat> Moisturising ones are much better on my lips and look more uh, youthful, maybe. Right, I've put everything on. Hi, Victor. I'll use my Essence Soul Glow Cream to Powder Highlight, and I get this one in Spain, so I don't know what the colour is. But there's this. There's a duck here. There's this one which is a pinky colour and there's also this one which is number 10, look on the bright side, which is a more whitey colour. But I'll go for the, the pinkier one. These are lovely. I've just looked at my analytics for things on YouTube and I seem to have a lot of watchers from the Netherlands and Finland. Hello to all of you. Um, so I hope you can understand me because I'm Scottish. Right, that'll do. I know I look daft with my big bone in my hair, but just get on, I've got real hair. Um, let me take it out and see what it's like. It's just been washed, so there's, there's, I've never even put any product or anything on it. There we go. 
So I hope you enjoyed this and you think that's quite a wearable St. Patrick's Day look. I really do like green eyeshadow right enough. I think it's lovely, especially with that wee bit of warmth as well. So that's me. So thank you for watching everyone and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.